Okay, so we're at the end of week one. How do the numbers look? Well, we've got um, 137 people enrolled, um, 76 people posted in the arrivals lounge. Um, I think we had about 45 people, give or take, in the webinar. Yeah, I didn't make a yeah, note that, of the that. exact number, but something like that. Um, 40 different icebreakers. Um, 40 people have watched the videos about people talking about induction. Um, only 19 people posted to the discussion boards, but I think that, that was a really great conversation. I think you're going to tell us about that in a minute, aren't you? Yeah. Um, over 100 tweets, um, 15 people enrolled for assessment. And just while I was making a note of these numbers earlier, they kept changing, so I had to keep going back and adding one to one of them, that kind of thing, which was Yeah, it's interesting to exciting. sort of see the numbers changing so much over the, over the course of a week, which doesn't usually happen in a closed course. No, they've gone up a lot since Monday. Mm. Um, what about the technology? How's that been going? Um, well, I guess uh, noticeably we've had some glitches with the webinar um, technology mostly. We had uh, a couple of, well, three people I think reported that they couldn't get into the webinar at all. Um, and some people have experienced some trouble with playback. Um, we've posted responses to those issues in the, techno in the technical problems forum. Um, the playback issue, we think, was just resolved basically by being patient and letting it uh, do its thing. Mm -hmm. And eventually, as far as we can tell, most people experience it just restarting and, and going to the end. In the meantime, we've got uh, one of our TAs, Abby Ball, is um, investigating on our behalf. She's um, the person in charge of our go-to person, really, on... Adobe Connect, so she's uh, looking into it and trying to see if we can figure out what's happening and how to fix it. Um, I guess one thing we should say to people is that um, the week three webinar is quite important and it's a good idea to, to test out whether your system will um, be adequate for the webinar well before it happens. That's the one we've got Jenny as the guest lecture, Jenny, isn't it? In week three. Um, so, if you go to, the, um, by the beginning of next week, you should find that you can go to the week three content and you will be able to click the webinar link and enter the room. You won't be able to do much in the room, but um, you can check the system well beforehand by doing that. So... Well, the icebreaker's activity has been brilliant, it has hasn't been it? Really, 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 really great, good. I mean, we've been really, really enthralled with it. Um, Doing the activities, yeah. finding out things <laughs> yeah. about each other. That yeah, we didn't definitely. Know. Shelfie, um, I like <laughs> me too. Um, <laughs> reading them and posting the comments, and there's a really uh, rich store of ideas yeah. here. And although we don't want to halt the, call a halt to the activity, at some point we are actually going to capture it in a PDF so that yeah. there's something, there's an artifact yeah. where so we can all take it away. We can all take it away. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. been been brilliant. Yeah. Got lots of ideas for my course. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, I think you know the other thing that I've been struck by is the quality of the discussion on, uh, about the icebreakers and induction more generally. Um, I think you mentioned there's only been mm -hmm. only there's been 19 posts into that forum now. People posted no, more than that posts yeah, total. Yeah. yeah, so 19 different people have, have entered that forum, and I've been struck by what, what a high level conversation yeah. it's been mm -hmm. um, and there have been a couple of things that I've really noticed about it. One is that uh, there have been several people who have been attempting to kind of synthesize the learning from the week's activities have posted sort of summary points mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. and we would normally in, uh, in this kind of environment as tutors we would see it as our role mm -hmm. to summarize the discussion <laughs> as it's coming to the end. Mm -hmm. And and this has meant that we haven't really had, I haven't felt like I haven't had to do that. Yeah. Other people have been doing it for us. Uh, I think that's great. It's kind of the thing we're looking for mm -hmm. is a, a learning community of people really trying yeah. to to contribute their understanding. So what I've done actually this morning is just to hoover up those synthesis <laughs> syntheses <laughs> and posted them as a summary slide into the induction yeah. um, um, into the icebreaker slides. Um, and that's kind of a, a pretty helpful, useful mm. way of synthesizing some of the learning from it. So um, it's been terrific. I think it's been really, really positive. 
I guess it's also interesting to note that nine, although we've got at least 70 odd people actively participating so far in the course, only 19, um, if it had been a closed course, there wouldn't have been anywhere near that number of people, probably. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's a lot of interesting benefits mm -hmm. to running this course as an open course. And those 19 people are producing a great resource for the other people yeah. who are reading it. Exactly, because exactly. There's just yeah. so many good yeah. ideas and so yeah. much good. But of course, people there. can still join in that discussion, can't people they? People can still Very join welcome. in, yeah. And uh, I think one of the things about it is being so rich, you don't necessarily have to contribute to it to learn no, a lot from no. it. Yeah. So, what about uh, next week, Liz? Yeah, well, we're hoping that everyone will be a bit more comfortable in the environment now because we've had a week of practice. Um, the activity that we're working on with two is sort of an extension of what we've been doing with the icebreakers in that people are we're asking people to design an activity of their own which of course everyone's already done with the icebreakers this is just a bit more of a, a structured activity um, and we've got your video talking about uh, learning design modules models which um, people can use if they find those helpful and if they don't find them helpful they can just uh, post the discussion uh, a post to the discussion board explaining their activity and, and sharing that so hopefully at the end of week two we'll end up with the same kind of rich list of lots of different kinds of activities that we've got yeah, out I think of the icebreakers. Yeah, there's a lot to, lot to go on. Mm. And, you know, people want to use Google presentations mm -hmm. again. Yeah, they yeah. Can. Um, yeah definitely. So um, you know, I'd, I'd really like to end up mm. the week with a, a, mm. another store of ideas <laughs> yeah, that we can yeah. steal and, Absolutely. and apply ourselves. And actually yeah. one of the things that was so interesting about the icebreakers activity is there are lots of activities that are quite similar, but each of those slightly different takes yeah. and it kind of brings a new angle. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. we'll end up with that sort of thing yeah. for the week two learning designs as well. I, I yeah. really got the impression that there's a lot of potential because people are bursting to share their practice. And I yeah. think that will be really useful in, in week two. Yeah. I, I want to go away and use all of them immediately. I'm yeah. sure the same thing will be true in week yeah. two as well. Yeah. Um, the other thing that we need to remind people to do in week two is to sign up for groups for the week three work. Um, we've got a sign up sheet in week two and we'll be working in small groups in week three so it's important to sign up for that early on in week two um, so we can plan for it and we can add more groups if we need to or consolidate groups if um, that's how it goes. Um, so if you've signed up for a group in week two that means you can get started really early in week three when we get to there. Um, and week three will be available now so you can look forward a bit to see what's happening in week three and start to plan your time. Uh, just so you have a bit of advance warning. Um, is there anything else we need to talk about now? No, I don't think so. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Week fun's been yeah. brilliant. I'm, I'm sure really there'll be more really to say. It. We've been having fun and we hope you're having fun too. <laughs> yeah, <so>. yeah. <laughs> okay, bye for now. Bye. <laughs> bye.